Now on Good Morning Northwest, Donald Trump wins the presidency and the Republicans take back the Senate. We have live reports with late breaking election news. And sunny days and cold nights ahead. Then the weekend, we have some wet weather. We're gonna let you know when and where that's coming up. And changes all around for Washington representation. From a new governor to Eastern Washington, replacing a longtime congresswoman. You'll hear from those new leaders. We're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Thanks for starting your day with us. I'm Natalie Grant. And I'm Robin Nance. It is Wednesday, November 6th. We have a lot of election results and reaction for you this morning. We have updated results running for you at the bottom of the screen as well. And we have team coverage in the studio this morning. That's right, Allison Martinez will be covering some major state and local races with reaction from those candidates. And Hannah Joy is following the historic return to the White House for Donald Trump and the key races determining control of both houses of Congress. Let's get straight to Hannah with, at the Breaking Now desk. This morning, ABC has called the presidential race. The American people have re-elected Donald Trump as the 47th president of the United States. Hours before the race was called and moments after securing battleground Pennsylvania, Trump won on stage in front of a crowd of supporters and declared victory. On the road to 270, Trump defeated Harris with 279 electoral votes. He overcame obstacles that nobody thought possible and it is now clear that we've achieved the most incredible political thing. Look what happened. Is this crazy? But it's a political victory that... Trump's path to victory went through battleground states like North Carolina, Georgia, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. These states were considered must-wins for both candidates. Meanwhile, at Howard University in Washington, D.C., Harris's watch party started with music and dancing, but soon the crowd was dismissed with no appearance from the vice president. She will be back here tomorrow to address not only the HU family, not only to address her supporters, but to address the nation. So thank you, we believe in you. In some states, including Nevada, Arizona, and Missouri, voters passed the right for abortion access. However, a similar measure failed in Florida. Coming up in the next half hour, I will have details on Republicans regaining control of the Senate. Reporting in studio, Hannah Joy, 4 News Now. All right, Hannah, thanks for that update. Let's check in with Mark in our first alert forecast. All right, good morning, everybody. So, yeah, it's a cool, if not cold, start to the day. And these are going to be the coldest series of days we've had so far in the season. We have a low cloud deck and 27 degrees with some patchy fog. Some of that could be freezing fog, so it could look a little bit like snowflakes. Uh, we look at the four things that we want you to know about. Clear cold mornings all the way through Friday. Sunny, dry days as well through Friday. By the weekend, we see rain. We're going to see mountain snows. Some of that mountain snow is going to be very measurable, up to a foot of snow easily. So we look at the forecast radar. A few variable clouds coming across this morning, including that low cloud deck. It clears out for the afternoon, looking pretty good. We're going to continue to have, again, the clear or mostly clear skies for tomorrow. Our current conditions, uh, Deer Park, cooling to 22 now, 23 into Cheney, and we have temperatures that are in the upper 20s as we get through the valley. And again, we're seeing some more of that dense fog in around those low 20 degree areas. Our day today, sunshine, few clouds, 44 degrees will be the high. The sun sets, it seems at noon, but it's really 424, and we'll see those uh, conditions get cold overnight relatively quickly. All right, Mark, thanks. Well, for the first time since 2013, Washington has elected its new governor. Around 9 o'clock last night, the Associated Press called Bob Ferguson as Washington's next leader. Yeah, Ferguson is the current attorney general at, of Washington, and he was up against Republican Dave Reichert, a former King County Sheriff and Congressman Allison Martinez in studio, breaking down this race. Allison? Last night, Ferguson gave a victory address, even crediting his time spent on the east side of Washington for his success. He thanked Reichert for a hard-fought campaign and the thousands of supporters who made his win possible. Take a listen. And tonight, and tonight, in making their choice for their next governor, the people of Washington State chose a pragmatic and progressive vision for our future. I am happy to announce that thanks to your support, Thanks to your doorbelling, to your donations, to your phone banking, to your hard work, I'll be serving as your next governor. 
Before the presidential election results were determined overnight, Ferguson voiced his support for Vice President Kamala Harris, adding that he is prepared to defend Washingtonians' freedoms against the Trump administration. We still have not yet heard from Reichert or his campaign, but we'll continue to update you as soon as we do. The results of this race don't necessarily come as a shock, as Reichert received only about 27% of the votes in the primaries. Washington hasn't elected a Republican governor since John Dennis Spillman in 1981. Another key race in the Inland Northwest was between Maria Cantwell and political newcomer Dr. Raul Garcia. It appears that Cantwell will serve a fifth term in Senate. Cantwell is a Democrat who has been in office since 2001. Garcia is a Republican and the medical director of Astria Toppenish Hospital in Yakima County. We'll continue to bring you the latest numbers all throughout the day on our website, kxly.com. In studio, Allison Martinez for News Now. A major vote we have been watching, um, the community safety sales tax on the ballot in the city of Spokane. After the initial round of results, Proposition 1 is passing 58 to 42%. This would be a major victory for Mayor Lisa Brown. We'll break down how the tax won the support of voters and the majority of the city council. And we'll take a look at why others opposed it coming up in our next half hour. Another race that people were closely watching for Washington was for Washington's 5th Congressional District. And it's been decided Michael Baumgartner will be Eastern Washington's new representative. As of right now, he is winning 60% by 59,000 votes, 60% to 40%. Now this means a Republican will retain the seat that Catherine Morris Rogers has held since 2005. Now, this has been a Republican district now since 1995. It was a packed house at the GOP watch party at the Davenport. Many excited Republicans closely watching various races, including Michael Baumgartner's. In his speech, he said he has big shoes to fill, thanked his opponents, and said this. <laughs> The debt and uh, the crime and the lawless border and all these things that we deal about, but the political divisiveness and the tribalism in America really weighs heavily on our part. And so I just want to say to everybody that, you know, things are going to be obviously politically easier for a while, but, you know, when we go to bed at night and we wake up the next morning, we are all Americans. Baumgartner's win was anticipated and speculated by many in the room last night. For a red sweep, at least that's what I've been hoping for. I'm hoping locally that we can get the Republicans for the Spokane in and for Trump to get in as well to get our country hopefully back, back on the right tra track again. That's what I'm really hoping for. Both Washington State Representative candidates hosting last night's event, Mike Bowles and Suzanne Schmidt, also ended the night victorious. And the room where Carmela Conroy conceded cleared out pretty early last night, but Democrats still had some things to celebrate. As we mentioned, Bob Ferguson continued the streak of Democratic governors leading Washington State and Spokane voters, giving Proposition 1 the green light to bolster public safety in Spokane County. Natasha Hill also appears poised to replace Democrat Marcus Riccelli to represent Legislative District 3 in Olympia next year. I'm excited to be the next uh, representative for the 3rd Legislative District. This is a historic race here locally, not just nationally. And, you know, I'm a girl who grew up in Hilliard, 99207 area code. So this isn't what, you know, the odds were. Um, but look where we've come, and I just am excited on where we can go from here. And as we mentioned, Eastern Washington flashed its red colors, at least in terms of Congress. We spoke to Carmela Conroy after she conceded her race to Michael Baumgartner just after 8.30. We wish we'd done better in terms of numbers, but it's been an unbelievably positive experience. I'm looking forward to being engaged with other folks in the community and building on this, and we'll try again in 2026. In the race for Washington's fourth congressional district, only about 3,800 votes are separating these two Republican candidates, with incumbent Dan Newhouse leading challenger Jared Sessler. This is one. This one is close enough that we may not know these official results for a couple of days. The fourth district covers much of the central part of the state, including Yakima, the Tri Cities, and Moses Lake. Spokane County voters were asked to renew a sales tax levy to pay for juvenile detention services. So far, initial votes show Measure 1 passing by a wide margin, 66% to 34. Assuming this holds, you would continue paying one cent for every $10 spent in the county. The money would go toward the operation, maintenance, and remodeling of facilities and jails. A statewide initiative that would repeal cap and trade from the Climate Commitment Act was on the ballot. Proponents calling it a hidden gas tax. 
Of the votes counted so far, 2017 is failing with 62% of voters saying no to it. Initiative 2109 is also failing, meaning people do not want to repeal the capital gains tax. The money generated from this tax goes towards state education programs and construction accounts. Right now, only about 2% of Washingtonians make enough money to pay this tax. And in the race for Washington Superintendent of Public Instruction, incumbent Chris Reichtel will continue to lead the school districts in the Evergreen State with 54% of the vote. We have a lot more to get to this morning, mm -hmm. and you can read all of our election coverage and get up to the minute results by going to kxly.com slash for the people. Good morning, Northwest Times. It's now 10 minutes after 6. I know we're still watching all these election results coming in, but kids got to get off the bus or get on the bus and get off Ooh, to school. Let's that, check in. Everyone's got to get ready for work. There's uh -huh. going to be lots of conversation. You should be warm when you have those conversations, so you will need a jacket. And I would throw in a hat today, Ooh. maybe even some gloves. It's chilly. Temperatures in the 20s all over the place. Your full forecast is coming up. And the markets respond to Donald Trump's election. What is going on with your retirement and other accounts this morning? Also ahead, the tabulation machine issue that caused election workers to recount more than 30,000 ballots in Wisconsin. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. With holidays right around the corner, Ironstone Furniture and Fire is offering discounts on all in-stock dining sets along with simplicity, indulgence, and endless possibilities. So, when you're looking for dining at its best, visit Ironstone Furniture and Fire in Coeur d'Alene. Mystiquaw Casino Hotel is open north of Spokane on Highway 395. Stay with us, relax and rejuvenate while taking advantage of our amazing amenities, including a restaurant and lounge. Our coffee corner is open daily at 5.30 a.m. Mystiquaw Casino Hotel is the perfect spot to book your next special event. We have a 4,000 square foot event center and an exceptional team ready to help you host your event. We invite you to stay and play. Make your reservations now at mystiquaw.com. You're busy, so at Car Wash Plaza, we're open 24-7 to match your schedule. Plus, we have safety surveillance lights and security cameras throughout the facility. It's easy with multiple payment options, cash, debit, or credit. There's even more reasons to visit our Car Wash Plaza. Our discount cars ensure major savings, and they're good at all our locations. Car Wash Plaza, it's the best in the Northwest. Hi, I'm Randy, owner of Ruder 911 Sewer and Drain. Sewer and Drain Cleaning at half the price of the larger competitors. 24-7 service for all of your sewer and drain cleaning needs in Spokane, 535-3136. We've collected thousands of warm winter coats for this year's Coats for Kids campaign. The coats have now been cleaned thanks to Allsco. If you know a child in need of a warm winter coat, go to kxly.com slash coats for kids to find a distribution location near you. Thank you to the hundreds of people who donated to Coats for Kids at an STCU branch during October. Your generosity warmed our hearts and will help keep kids out of the cold. Thank you. Mannheim Steamroller Christmas by Chip Davis. Celebrating the holiday spirit for over 35 years. November 21st at First Interstate Center for the Arts. Tickets on sale now at broadwayspokane.com. 4 News Now is brought to you by STCU. Here for good. It is 613. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. Down the ballot in some states enshrining the right to abortion access. It passed in Nevada, Arizona, and Missouri. A similar measure failed in Florida, which has one of the nation's strictest abortion bans. It needed a 60% majority to pass. Now, Florida becomes the first abortion-related ballot initiative to fail since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Meanwhile, Republicans have regained control of the Senate, while the control of the House of Representatives is still up for grabs today. While the final votes are being counted from election day markets are surging overnight the Dow Nasdaq and S&P all poised to jump at the opening bell with futures trading up well over 1% investors also keeping an eye on the Fed as its latest two-day meeting starts up today that widely expected to cut interest rates again tomorrow 
Well, it took some extra time for about 30,000 ballots to be counted in Milwaukee yesterday. The problem, doors on machines that counted some absentee ballots had not been closed properly, so workers had to process those ballots through the machines again. Now, officials there stress there is no evidence of tampering. Wisconsin was, was the state that put Donald Trump over the top of the race to 270. It's a 10-second takeaway on a Wednesday morning where we're going to be sunny and mild today, a few high, thin clouds. Again, we do have some patchy fog out there right now. Uh, but grab a warm layer head now. The sunglasses, you'll need them. Sunny and 44. Election day was not without its issues. Here in our area, Gonzaga reported that over the last few days, someone not associated with the university has come into the Hemmingson Center and caused what the school calls an election-related disruption. And because of that, campus buildings are not accessible to anyone without key card access until Friday. The university did not specify what happened or whether police were involved. Good morning, Northwest time is now quarter after six. Well, it's clear the Senate has turned red. We still don't know which party will have control of the House. We're taking a little bit of a closer look at that race coming up later in the show. And as we send you off to a break, here's a look at some races that affect our local schools. We'll be right back. At Gold Seal Plumbing, when I say we're on our way, that means response times are usually within 24 hours or sooner. It means a live customer service center with real people. It means Gold Seal Plumbing gets the job done right quickly. And Gold Seal Plumbing has the largest staff of experienced service plumbers with trucks ready. So if you need a plumber, choose the most trusted team with the fastest response times and live customer support. Call Gold Seal Plumbing today. We're on our way. I think the stove was broken. How are we going to get that replaced before the holidays? Swing into Fred's Appliance today for our Black Friday Super Sale and discover unbeatable deals on the largest selection of in-stock, get-it-today inventory in our region. We have the largest selection of Bosch induction ranges to choose from on sale now for Black Friday. Plus, when you buy one today, receive a free induction cookware set to go along with your new induction range. At Fred's, we sell appliances, only appliances. Okay, ideas, where are we going? I got one. I got one. What about a comedy show? I've seen you, I've swiped on you. No, okay? Oh, I got an idea. I feel hungry. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Whatever your vibe. Tacos. Definitely tacos. Find it in the all-hybrid Camry. Toyota, let's go places. Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls has been North Idaho's premier flooring shop for over 30 years. From remodels to new construction, they've got your home or business covered from wall to wall. Their expert design team will work with you to find the perfect floor for your lifestyle and budget. They've got the lowest prices. From carpet and area rugs to hardwood, LVP and laminate, if you can dream it, they can floor it. Dream it. Design it. Live it. At Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls. Not again, Mom. Looks like this will be your last year with season tickets, huh? No. Let's iron out this big mess. Yeah. I'm calling the swap team. Wait. At Craig Swap and Associates, we want to make sure that you're really winning. We get you compensated, and we don't receive a penny until you get paid. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. Not the best sound to start your day with, is it? Your next decision should be to call Precision. Our professionally trained technicians are here to provide you with award-winning service every time so we can get you back up and running fast. Call or book online today. You know, there's millions of people without the health insurance they need. You deserve something better and better. Plans as low as $0 out-of-pocket premiums, local doctors, and rewards for healthy choices. That's why we're America's number one marketplace health insurance. And better health on a mission for better. 4 News Now is brought to you by Move Fitness. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Welcome back. We're taking a live look outside as we kick off our Wednesday here. Got those clouds, got that fog out there for some of us out on the roads. Yeah, and this is big weather news. Grab your skis and snowboards, get them waxed up, because look how past Ski Resort is opening this Friday. Woo! 
14 to 36 inches of snow has fallen on the slopes and more expected this week. Most of the 14 trails on the front of the mountain will open Friday. More will open on Saturday. Mark, you were saying they will be getting more snow. Yes, uh, over the weekend, we're gonna have rain uh, potential every day, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, even into Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> that rain is gonna be mountain snow, so mm -hmm. they're gonna be catching it, which means travel's gonna be limited, but you get up to the top of Lookout Pass, look right, there's ski area, <laughs> you can hang out there. All right, so congratulations on the early opening. We have cold temperatures this morning, no doubt. I mean, we go to the usual suspects, Deer Park 22, 23 into Cheney. Along the valley, temperatures are a little warmer into the upper 20s. Um, still, I mean, Hayden at 31 degrees this morning, balmy. Uh, 44 for our high today. Uh, we're going to have sunshine. It's going to be a lot like yesterday. Yesterday we did hit 46 degrees, so we're going to be right in there. 46 is a normal high now for this time of year. Overnight lows should be down around freezing. That's the average, so below average 25. Clear and cold for tonight. All right, nationally, we've got a system that's bringing a lot of snow into the central Rockies, rain into the lower elevations. we got another system that moved from Texas now into the Gulf all the way up into the eastern side of the Great Lakes, and that is going to bring in the potential for some flooding for us. Uh, we're going to see a continuation of mountain snows into Montana, Wyoming. We're out of that. We're going to be dry. We're going to have sunshine, a few clouds coming out of the north, but that's about all. So we look at the forecast radar by tonight, uh, 5 o'clock, dark, <laughs> dark, but it will be clear. We're going to get cold overnight. Maybe a little more cloud cover on Thursday as it moves in about mostly sunny. And then we see Friday again, that same pattern. But it's now Friday into Saturday that we start to see this uh, energy, this moisture come in. That next system that looks like it's going to be Saturday afternoon, evening for us. That we're going to see the rain, snow into the mountains. Overnight lows of 33, so that snow level is going to climb down to areas where we could see it in our uh, commutes uh, over the weekend. 44 into Spokane for the high today. We're gonna have 43 into Winthrop. Everybody's cool. 52 into the Tri-Cities. Low 40s from Bonners Ferry all the way south. Now, the planning forecast. We're planning on those temperatures to come up a little bit. Uh, upper 40s tomorrow. Friday 50, uh, near 50 on Saturday. Again, overnight lows at or above freezing, um, but 35 Monday morning. But thus, you can see higher elevations are going to get the snow. We're going to get the rain showers. All right, it is uh, Wednesday, and now we have our pet of the week. Is there anything cuter than a kitten? How about two or three or five? Even though we are heading into winter, kittens are still being found and brought to Companions Animal Center. There are still several more in foster care that will be available for adoption over the next few weeks. They will melt your heart regardless of size or colors. If you're looking for a feline to round out your family, stop by and meet all of them. Or for more information, visit our website at CompanionsAnimalCenter.org. Oh, I want them all. Oh, the little orange precious. ones. So cute. Mm. <laughs> Good morning, Northwest. Time right now is 623. You could go get oh, a gosh. kitty. Shh. Don't tell me that. <laughs> As we head to a break, here's a look at more election results for you. We'll be right back. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app.
It all began, I was in the HVAC business or I was working for a guy and I, mean, I just wasn't really making ends meet and I always wanted to start my own business like my dad did. I had a red Volkswagen Rabbit. It was a family grocery getter, if you want to call it. I loaded up some tools. I got licensed, had some insurance and I said, hey, I'm going to start a business in it. So I went down and I knocked on every door on the business, gave him my card. I really got my first job at this uh, Chinese restaurant and I figured I could make enough money to buy these tools and it was a very exciting to have a customer. It was a blessing and uh, I just gave them my very best. People didn't realize that it was just me and I was a one-man show and giving them that personal care that people always want. I felt blessed that they liked me enough to refer my name to somebody else. Kind of in a way, that's how I got started, but a lot of it is going out, talking to people, and you gotta knock on doors. And that's the way it was done in the olden days. Denture Clinic is locally owned and operated and has been providing personalized, comfortable, and satisfying care to our clients for over 30 years. Our licensed denturists are trained in the latest techniques in the construction, development, and preparatory work of a denture. Full dentures, implant attachments, repairs, fittings, adjustments, we do it all. Every denture is made to look as close as possible to your natural teeth. With our knowledge and friendly staff, competitive costs, and quality of service, you'll leave Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic smiling. Welcome back. The time right now is 626. We've got some sports news for you this morning. The undefeated University of Oregon Ducks are the number one football team in the country. They topped the college football playoff committee's first edition of the season's rankings. Uh, Ohio State, with its one loss, came in at number two, followed by the University of Georgia, which also has one loss. The CFP selection committee is comprised of athletic directors, former coaches and players, and a journalist. They pick and rank the 25 best teams for the games in the game rather for six weeks before determining which schools will be in the new 12-team playoff. The 7-1 WSU Cougars. They're currently sitting at number 21. This is big news, and congrats to all you Ducks fans. It's a, it is quite the season That's you're having. That's true. That's true. Well, here at 4 News Now, we are teaming up with BECU ahead of Veterans Day to celebrate those who have served our country, and we'd like your help. Send us a picture of a veteran or an active duty military member in your life, and let us know why they deserve recognition. This here is Elon Casey Jones. The message sent in with this picture says that Elon served in both the Marines, the Army, ending his 39-year military career as a Master Sergeant with tours all over the world, including the Vietnam conflict. This gentleman, known as Sarge, is currently 89 years young and is loved by all he crosses paths with. Oh, that's great. And this is Daniel Steins. The message simply says, Daniel served in the U.S. Air Force Thank you for your service, and we thank you as well. Mm -hmm. You can submit a photo. We will recognize the contributions of your veteran or active duty military member. Five lucky winners will receive a $75 gift card to Uncle Sam's flag and gift courtesy of our friends at BECU. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Northwest time is now 627. Well, this election, we saw record early turnout and some long lines at Idaho polling sites. And this morning, we have new results from the Gem State, where Idaho voters showed up big. That's next. The tax dollars of Spokane residents were at stake with Proposition 1. We have the updated outcome coming up. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Save your green! From refinishing cabinet stores and trim to painting walls and ceilings, Everhart Painting has you covered. Everhart Painting has been Spokane's premier painting contractor for over 50 years. Call Everhart Painting today and receive $500 off. Everhart Painting, your painter for life. It's Snow's Auto's 20th anniversary sale, and that means the best time to get your vehicle ready for winter with 20% off remote car starts, 20% off new heated seats, and 20% off lighting upgrades. Snow's Auto. If you're asking yourself, why am I in jail again? Why do I have all these broken relationships? Why can't I overcome this addiction? And you're not finding the answer, then that is the definition of you need help. 
The problem is, is that you have a broken heart. And there are people that can help you with that. The answer is not in you. You don't have to stay stuck. It's not too late. This is Monster Jam. As big as it gets. Coming to Spokane Arena this weekend. Brought to you by BKT Tires and Great Clips. Tickets on sale now. You have to see it live. So lock in your seats today at MonsterJam.com. From refinishing cabinet stores and trim to painting walls and ceilings, Everhart Painting has you covered. Everhart Painting has been Spokane's premier painting contractor for over 50 years. Call Everhart Painting today and receive $500 off. Everhart Painting, your painter for life. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning, Northwest. Thanks for starting your day with us. I'm Natalie Grant. And I'm Robin Nance. Today is Wednesday, November 6th, and we are continuing to bring you election results this morning. That includes local initiatives that could impact your wallet. Proposition 1 is a community sales tax that is on track to pass. And our Allison Martinez is at live in studio this morning to share how supporters and the opposition feel about these results. Good morning, Allison. Good morning. So far, Proposition 1 is passing, which is a major victory for Mayor Lisa Brown. The community safety tax would increase the sales and use tax by 0.1%. Brown says it will be used to support the Spokane Fire Department, Spokane Police, Municipal Court, and the Office of the Police Ombudsman. A lot of my opposition really came from the lack of guardrails and, and ensuring that this money would be spent appropriately. Council member Cathcart is referencing the money collected from the increased sales tax that comes with Proposition 1. Spokane City Council passed a sunset clause on this, saying that it will go back in front of voters in 10 years. This was described by council member Zach Sapone, a supporter of this piece of legislation. We've already passed an ordinance saying this will be dedicated fund towards community safety says if this proposition is officially passed, these funds will be collected starting in 2025. According to the latest round of results, Proposition 1 is passing by 58% to 42%. Our election team spoke to Cathcart, who you heard from earlier, who opposes the measure. The increase to the tax would cost taxpayers about $1 for every $1,000 spent. We'll continue to bring you the latest numbers on our website, kxly.com. Reporting in studio, Allison Martinez for News now. All right, Allison, thanks. And here's a look with Mark with our first alert forecast. All right, got a little bit of low cloud deck out there, and we see, again, the South Hill uh, has quite a bit of low clouds and fog, 27 degrees. And into Coeur d'Alene, we see the light fog that's there and sitting at 31. So some patchy freezing fog also in evidence, so just take it easy. Clear, cold mornings are going to be with us uh, all week. Sunny, dry days go along with those. Um, we're going to see rain moving into the weekend for the lower elevations. Uh, for Saturday, it's going to be below 35. 500 feet and mountain snows above that that'll continue all the way through the beginning of next week we look where the really the dense fog is located and that's out <clears throat> as you head out into the panhandle up into bonners ferry those areas still a low cloud deck in our area in some spots so again just a little bit of caution there temperatures into the upper 20s you go through the valley and into post falls you have 24 degrees a little more cloud cover holding in a little bit more of the heat there in Coeur d'Alene at 34 we'll see a continuation of cold temperatures up north at Deer Park at 22 so for our planner today we are going to plan on seeing plenty of sunshine few clouds on the move our high today is going to be 44 a normal high is 46 so we're right there and then as the sun sets, things cool. We're going to be in the mid-20s again tomorrow morning. As election workers tallied votes late into the night, it became clear that Republicans will now take control of Congress. However, the House is still up for grabs this morning. Hannah Joy's at the Breaking Now desk. And Hannah, how long has it been since Republicans controlled Congress? This is the first time in four years Republicans have secured a conservative majority. Overnight, Republicans flipped multiple seats in key states. But with 52 Republicans in the Senate, Donald Trump will have a chance to push through controversial cabinet members. And if you assume that Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski might not be amenable to some of the choices a new President Trump might make for his cabinet, 51 would have been a potential problem. 52, even if he loses both of them, he gets to 50 and J.D. Vance can break the tie. 
However, Democrats did manage to hold on to a few contested seats, but 435 seats are up for grabs in the Republican-controlled House. And now Democrats need just four seats to flip the House. Meanwhile, another big issue for voters is abortion. I have three daughters, and they will have children, I think, someday, and I fear for what may happen to them. This is my first time voting. Uh, what really attracted me to Donald Trump is I'm a Christian, and he really aligns with a lot of my values. Florida has voted to keep its six-week abortion ban in place, but the state failed to get the 60% needed to extend abortion rights. Florida is one of 10 states voting on abortion measures. Arizona, Maryland, Missouri, Colorado, Nevada, and New York are adding abortion access in their state constitutions as well. Reporting in studio, Hannah Joy, 4 News Now. Hannah, thanks. And in the race for U.S. Senator from Washington, it appears Maria Cantwell will serve a fifth term as she leads Dr. Raul Garcia by more than half a million votes right now. Arguably, the biggest race in Washington was for the state's new governor, and as expected, Bob <coughs> Ferguson will be replacing Jay Inslee, gaining more than 56% of the vote statewide. Well, in Idaho, results have been coming in throughout the night, and things could still change with 63% of precincts reporting so far in Kootenai County. Yeah, education is one of the main issues, and the North Idaho Republicans have seen some strong early returns. That goes for both the Coeur d'Alene School District levy and the North Idaho College Board of Trustees election. A Republican representative, Russ Fulcher, is expected to retain his seat with more than 72% support so far. More than 58% of the ballots are in support of the Coeur d'Alene School District levy. And the North Idaho Republicans are optimistic about their candidates for the North Idaho College Board of Trustees. I think they're immediately going to stabilize the college and get behind Dr. Nick Swain and seeing that we continue boosting enrollment. We get a handle on our budget crisis that has been created by this board majority. All three Republican candidates for the North Idaho College Board of Trustees are in the lead so far. Rick Durbin, Eve Knutson, and Mary Havercroft all have at least a 1.3% lead with Havercraft's race being the closest. Many are also keeping a close eye on the Lakeland School District levy, which is failing right now. And taking a look at some other results from Idaho, voters are overwhelmingly rejecting Prop 1, the Idaho Open Primaries Act. Right now, voters can only vote for candidates within their declared party in primaries. And it appears it'll stay that way, rather than allowing voters to choose any candidate regardless of party registration. And Kootenai County voters are leaning towards yes on Idaho Constitutional Amendment HJR5, which would add additional language to the Idaho Constitution specifying that only U.S. citizens can vote in Idaho elections. Right now, as you see, 65% of voters are saying yes, while around 35% of voters are saying no. And you can see all election results by going to kxly.com slash for the people. It's all spelled out so nicely and clearly for you there. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Northwest Time is now 637. Checking back in with Mark Peterson here as you're heading out the door. Cold day today. I saw some frost on the ground when I was taking Winnie out this morning. Yeah, cold nights uh, today, tomorrow into Friday, but then we warm up overnight lows at or above freezing, but it comes with rain moving into the area. Oh boy. So we'll see snow under the mountains. We're going to have more on the timing on that and your full forecast coming up. And still to come this morning, we have a pretty clear picture of these election results. But what is still to come for the ballots that need to be counted? A look at the next steps when we come back. And as we send you off to a commercial break, here's your first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, a lifetime of bra blims. I feel like I have to be very careful about how I move because I constantly feel the spillage. Um, as you can see, there's it's going over. Ladies, the struggle is real, right? From the band to the cup size, it can be daunting to find the best fit. And that's why our Lori Bergamato enlisted the help of intimate apparel expert, Laura Burke. What are the most important things that women can use to navigate the entire system? You should always have a starting point size in your mind because then you'll know how to move up and down based on how a brand fits or a certain style. But you don't want to get too tied to a size because each brand does run differently, which is where it can get more complicated. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll have more tips on how to pick the right fit for you. With your GMA First Look, I'm Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York.
RSV can severely affect the lungs and lower airways. But I'm protected with RxV. RxV is a vaccine used to prevent lower respiratory disease from RSV in people 60 years and older. RSV can be serious for those over 60, including those with asthma, diabetes, COPD, and certain other conditions. But I'm protected. RxV is proven to be over 82% effective in preventing lower respiratory disease from RSV and over 94% effective in those with these health conditions. Orexv does not protect everyone and is not for those with severe allergic reactions to its ingredients. Those with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. The most common side effects are injection site pain, fatigue, muscle pain, headache, and joint pain. Orexv is number one in RSV vaccine shots. RSV, make it Orexv. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Respect, protect, pay essential grocery store workers. We all recognize today's workplace safety challenges. My union negotiated strong safety language, addressing the important issues we face in our stores. UFCW 3000 fights to make sure that essential workers get better wages, respect on the job, and a safe workplace. That's the peace of mind my family and I need. If you'd like a strong union in your workplace, contact us here. Dear unbreakable spirit, when the terrain is gnarly, you steady us. When obstacles are ahead, you lift us. When the turf is hostile, you inspire us. Own a legend. Toyota Trucks. Right now, you can lease a new 2024 Tacoma for just $269 a month. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. With holidays right around the corner, Ironstone Furniture and Fire is offering discounts on all in-stock dining sets along with simplicity, indulgence, and endless possibilities. So, when you're looking for dining at its best, visit Ironstone Furniture and Fire in Coeur d'Alene. Fall in love all ogre again with Shrek the Musical, an epic tale filled with hijinks, adventure, and lots of gassy fun. I know it's today. Shrek the Musical. Tickets at broadwayspokane.com. Canopy Village is working to combat homelessness in North Idaho by providing safe, temporary housing and services to those in need. Their goal is to help families transition from crisis to stability. We believe everyone deserves a place to call home. Canopy Village is here to not only provide shelter, but also to offer hope and guidance towards a path of a brighter future. Numerica Credit Union is honored to donate $1,000 to Canopy Village. This is how Numerica cares for kids. Happy Take and Bake Tuesday! Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $12.99, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. We might have too many favorites. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. Welcome back to 642. You have cast your vote and waited for initial results. So what's next to come for your ballots? The Spokane County Elections Office says it's processed more than 211,000 ballots yesterday on Election Day. That's a little more than half of the ballots it sent out. The Elections Office says for the votes that have not been processed yet, they will still get counted. Mike McLaughlin, the Elections Manager at the Spokane County Elections Office, says any ballots that were placed in the ballot box later than Monday morning, as well as ballots mailed in after this past week, weekend will all be counted in the next coming days. Start the process of processing all of those. That takes time. They have to be rebundled, labeled so they can go through the sorters and signature verified. So, you know, it's not a, you know, we expect early next week we will be close to finished. McLaughlin wants people to know that the elections office will not certify the election until November 27th when every vote has been counted. And of course, you can still check the status of your ballot in Washington or absentee ballot in Idaho and see if there's any problems or issues that need to be fixed in order for your vote to be counted. Head to votewa.gov or voteidaho.gov to check it out. 10 second takeaway. It's Wednesday morning. It's going to be sunny and mild today today this morning it's chilly so grab that warm layer 
You'll need the sunglasses today. Sun's out 44 for the high. It is now 644 on the nose. Let's recap some of the biggest races out of Idaho. As of right now, voters in Coeur d'Alene are voting in favor of replacing the school district supplemental levy with 59% of voters approving it. If this stands, the school district, um, rather 61% of voters approving it now, they know if this stands, the school district would not need to lay off 100 teachers or cut extracurricular activities and sports. Incumbent Bob Norris will remain as the Kootenai County Sheriff with close to 70% of the votes. And in Washington, there's also Initiative 2109, which would repeal the capital gains tax. This is a 7% tax on the sale of stocks and bonds with uh, exceeding $250,000. Right now, you can see the results. People are turning it down 63% and it's voting yes, 37%. As we head to a break, here are a few more local election results. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Life's busy. Off is not an option. You need to be on. On time, on the go, on the call, or just ready to play on. Life's waiting. Power on with Batteries Plus. Visit one of over 700 locations today. Just 17 years old, kidnapped, abused, and terrorized, and her family paid for it. A local survivor is sharing her story to expose the billion-dollar industry that fools parents and leaves kids scarred for life. Thursday on 4 News Now. When it comes to remodeling your bath, there's fact and there's fiction. Fiction, it's too expensive to remodel your bath. Fact, with Bathfitter's hundreds of design options, you'll get the bath you want to fit your budget. Fiction, bath remodels take forever and tear the house apart. Fact, Bathfitter installation takes just one day to fit your schedule. Get the bath that fits you. Bathfitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. Discover the all-new 2025 Subaru Forester at Parker Subaru. Built with quality engineering, advanced safety, and off-road capabilities, the Forester remains one of Motor Trend's top-ranked compact SUVs. Drive with confidence in any weather with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. Make parking a breeze with the 360-degree surround view monitor. The 2025 Subaru Forester, ready for any adventure. See the all-new Subaru Forester at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. In celebration of Veterans Day, 4 News Now and BECU would like to honor those who've served our country. Go to KXLY.com, submit a photo and a short write-up on a veteran or military member. 4 News Now, honoring our heroes. Brought to you by BECU. If you have a vehicle you no longer need, you can give it new purpose through Union Gospel Mission. Simply go to UGMMotors.org or call 509-327-HELP to schedule a pickup. Your donation gives people like Tyler food, shelter, job training, and the opportunity for a whole new life. Be a driver of change. Donate your vehicle to Union Gospel Mission. Batteries Plus has the national scale for all your power needs and a dedicated expert for the local support you want. Power on with Batteries Plus Business. 4 News Now is brought to you by Aligned Family Chiropractic. Good morning. Your time is 647 and it is foggy out there mm -hmm. in some places, obviously cloudy in others. But yeah, that fog is real thick over in North Idaho this morning and in the valley. Yeah, it's also cold out there. I had to get the windshield scraper off this morning. At least you knew where yours was. Yeah, always in the trunk. Keep it in there all year because <laughs> you never know when you need it for the first time. You never know. Or if you have it in the summer, you know, I am adult and use it for other things and then it's ruined. Oh, um, boy. Here's the deal. We got frost up in Green Bluff. I want to know what you're using know, it for. I'm very curious. Just anything that it may okay, be able to be used for. Trust me. <laughs> 
<laughs> if I don't have some uh, wire, then I have to use something else to fix stuff. Uh, we call it farmification. All right, good morning, everybody. 22 into Deer Park, and again, some frost. We also have some of that uh, fog that is freezing fog, so be careful. Uh, temperatures into the upper 20s along the valley, 35 into Coeur d'Alene. It's the hot spot. There is a hot spot there. We look at our forecast hour by hour. Temperatures into the upper 20s and 9. We're going to be into and still below freezing, but then above freezing and then warming to 44 degrees. We'll see that at 2, 3 o'clock. It'll be mid-40s for much of the afternoon. The sun sets, and we start getting chilly again. There's no doubt about it. So at 735, but at 7 p.m., it will be 35 degrees, not at 735. And then overnight, we'll get down to 25 degrees. So radar satellite, the energy that, that we see in the form of snow is in Montana. Could see a little border action, a little light snow in some of the higher elevations. We just have a little bit of energy coming out there, but that's it. Um, we're going to be dry. Things look pretty good. Forecast radar, we're clear throughout uh, much of the afternoon, evening. A few clouds on the run over the next couple of days. But for the most part, we're going to be mostly sunny. 44 will be our high today. 46 into Ritzville, 43 into Colville. Low to mid 40s, but that... Fog is dense in North Idaho in some of those protected valleys along I-90, so take it easy there. Allow for more time. Uh, 47 Thursday, Friday 50, and then mid-40s and rainy through the weekend. We're going to have more discussions on that. Your morning sprint, though, is coming up next. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Wonders of the World. Shop Consigned Furniture and Jewelry's Veterans Day Sale now. Save up to 70% off all consigned, one-of-a-kind pieces throughout the store. Veterans and active duty receive an additional 20% off. Consigned Furniture. Easy way to sell, smart way to buy. It's Snow's Auto's 20th anniversary sale. And that means the best time to get your vehicle ready for winter. With 20% off remote car starts, 20% off new heated seats, and 20% off lighting upgrades. Snow's Auto. Moving day never goes smoothly, does it? Let's just settle this little mishap. Who do we always see on the billboards again? It's the one call that's all, guys. You deserve to be compensated fairly for everything you've had to go through. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. Welcome to Parker Toyota, the Toyota Truck Center of the Northwest. Our inventory has never been better with a huge selection from stock to fully customized trucks. And now you can choose between a gas or hybrid powertrain. So whether you're looking for great MPGs or a 12,000 pound towing capacity, we have the truck for you. Check out the all new Toyota Tacoma and Tundra at your locally owned Parker Toyota in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Not the best sound to start your day with, is it? Your next decision should be to call Precision. Our professionally trained technicians are here to provide you with award-winning service every time. Our trucks are rolling warehouses, so we can get you back up and running fast. Need a new door? We do that too. And right now, get a new garage door, Wi-Fi opener, and remote combo installed for as low as $34 per month and up to $500 in cashback savings. Call or book online today. The ECU and 4 News Now are teaming up for the Great American Flag Swap. On November 8th, bring your old tattered flag to BECU, and in exchange, you'll receive a new flag with help from Uncle Sam's flag and gift. This November, let's thank veterans and military families who are serving. BECU is proud to be part of the Great American Flag Swap. We're honored to live in a community that supports veterans and military families who sacrifice for the benefit of us all. Visit us in Spokane and see what banking is like when people come first. BECU, not for profit, equals more for people. Shop Consigned Furniture and Jewelry's Veterans Day Sale now. Save up to 70% off all consigned, one-of-a-kind pieces throughout the store. Veterans and active duty receive an additional 20% off. Consigned Furniture. Easy way to sell, smart way to buy. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. It is 6.53, time to get you ready to take on your Wednesday with the morning sprints. Mark has details on a cool and clear night ahead. And Allison Martinez in studio with updates on Washington electing a new governor. But first, we got Hannah Joy with details on the historic return to the White House for Donald Trump.
This morning, ABC has called the presidential race. The American people have re-elected Donald Trump as the 47th president of the United States. On the road to 270, Trump defeated Harris with 279 electoral votes. He overcame obstacles that nobody thought possible, and it is now clear that we've achieved the most incredible political thing. Look what happened. Is this crazy? But it's a political victory that... Meanwhile, at Howard University in Washington, D.C., Harris' watch party started with music and dancing, but soon the crowd was dismissed with no appearance from the vice president. For updates on the election results, tune in to Good Morning America. Areas of low clouds in our first alert weather, and we do have some dense freezing fog in some areas, certainly into the central panhandle along I-90 as you're heading out. So again, a little extra time there. We've got some patchy freezing fog here in the Spokane region as well. Temperatures are cold. I mean, we're sitting below 30 all over the place, except for Coeur d'Alene and Hayden. So again, it's a cold morning, so just be prepared. We're going to have sunshine today. Temperatures slowly warming up by noon, 42. Our high today, 44, and then another clear overnight expected. Around 9 o'clock last night, the Associated Press called Bob Ferguson as Washington's next governor. Bob Ferguson is the current Attorney General of Washington. He was up against Republican Dave Reichert, a former King County Sheriff and Congressman. Last night, Ferguson gave a victory address thanking Reichert for a hard-fought campaign and the thousands of supporters who made his win possible. Right now, Ferguson is leading 56% to 44%. Major vote, we have been watching the community safety sales tax on the ballot in the city of Spokane. After the initial round of results, Proposition 1 is passing 58% to 42. This would be a major victory for Mayor Lisa Brown. We'll break down um, how that tax will support uh, uh, and how voters have supported it coming up on our website. Another race that people were closely watching was for Washington's 5th Congressional District, and it's been decided. Michael Baumgartner will be Eastern Washington's new representative. Right now, he's winning this race by about 59,000 votes. This means a Republican will retain the seat that Kathy McMorris Rogers has held since 2005. In the race for U.S. Senator from Washington, it appears Maria Cantwell will serve as fifth term, so as uh, she leads Dr. Raul Garcia by more than half a million votes. And taking a look at some results from Idaho, voters are overwhelmingly rejecting Prop 1, the Idaho Open Primaries Act. Now, right now, voters can only vote for candidates within their declared party in primaries. It appears it will stay that way, rather than allowing voters to choose any candidate regardless of their party registration. Kootenai County voters are leaning toward yes on Idaho Constitutional Amendment HJR 5, which would add additional language to the Idaho Constitution, specifying that only U.S. citizens can vote in Idaho elections. Right now, 65% of voters say yes, about 35% of voters say no. And in the race for Washington Superintendent of Public Instruction, incumbent Chris Reichdahl will continue to lead school districts in the Evergreen State with 54% of the vote. We have a lot more to get to this morning. You can read all the election coverage and get up to the minute results by going to kxly.com slash for the people. Well, election day was not without issues, but here in our area, Gonzaga reported that over the last few days, someone not associated with the university has come into the Hemingston Center and caused what school uh, the school calls election-related disruptions. And because of that, campus buildings are not accessible to anyone without a key card until Friday. The university did not specify what happened or if any police were involved. Here for News Now, we are teaming up with BECU ahead of Veterans Day to celebrate those who have served our country. And you can help submit a photo, and we will recognize the contributions of the veteran in your life, either a veteran or even an active duty military member. Five lucky winners will receive a $75 gift card to Uncle Sam's flag and gift courtesy of BECU. And uh, we will tell their stories mm -hmm. and, and help honor them. Of course, Veterans Day is coming up on Monday. That it is. Well, we'll be back with a final check of our weather. This is a live look outside to kick off our Wednesday. Mark will have all of our conditions coming up right after this break. Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission.
Are you a daredevil who drives on empty to see if you can make it? At Numerica, you'll find money answers for you and only you. Learn more at numericacu.com. Just 17 years old, kidnapped, abused, and terrorized, and her family paid for it. A local survivor is sharing her story to expose the billion-dollar industry that fools parents and leaves kids scarred for life. Thursday on 4 News Now. I did know that back pain, foot pain come along with the job of waiting tables. This is Tony. Things that I've tried have failed. And this is Tony's good feet story. Before my arch supports, I felt defeated. But since getting the arch supports from the good feet store, I have had no pain, which still is kind of crazy to me. I'm more positive. It's like opening up a whole new life, like sunshine coming up. I would recommend it to anyone. You've tried everything that's not working. Give it a try. See how we can help you too at the good feet store. Well, good morning, everybody. A live look outside. Now you can see the sun reflecting off the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena, but also the cloud cover on the other side, and that's a low cloud deck. And so we do have some patchy freezing fog that is in evidence. Take it easy. Uh, 44 will be our high today. 41. We'll see that about 4 o'clock sun sets. It gets cold. 25 for tomorrow morning. <clears throat> So again, another cold start, crisp, more patchy freezing fog potential. 47 on Thursday, Friday 50. The rain comes in Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and rainy conditions through at least Veterans Day. Drive safe and stay warm as you're heading out the door, and thanks for starting your morning with us. Yeah, we sure have appreciated it. We'll see you throughout the morning on Good Morning America. It starts now.